Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who have been following our channel, we'll probably say that we are actually moving our shrimp farm. And in this video, I'll be showing some of the early progress that we have done with our new shrimp farm, which is actually about 5,000 uh, square feet, and which includes setting up all the tanks and aeration systems. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys, uh, so just to remind everybody that if you like these updates and these videos that we are doing, do like and subscribe to our channel, uh, Rasa Culture, so you get more latest information. And back to business. So this is how the farm actually look like once we start to move in our stuff, so you can see that we have actually nothing uh, set up. And for your information that the concrete was actually just filled in a few days ago and it just set. So we'll not be putting any heavy machinery on top of the set concretes. So what you see over here are actually cables that have been planted uh, in the earlier stage so that we don't have any overhang cables around the farm that is quite messy. This is also partly due to the fact that the ceiling is actually quite high so we do not actually want to run any over uh, overhead cables that might be too costly to support from the top side. So this is actually what our ceiling actually looks like. It's actually quite tall and we do not use any transparent roofing on the top as we could get quite a good sunlight from the sides because they are not sheltered up. So this video is actually about us also setting up the tanks. So you can see here, these blue tanks are actually PVC tanks that we have used in our previous uh, culture cycles for about 8 cycles. And we have actually moved them from our old facilities uh, to this new facility. And you can see there's still a bit of construction and cement uh, pouring pouring and when we are setting up our tanks so just extra note of caution you want to be really careful with doing this because PVC tanks are really prone to puncture. So this is actually a 20 cubic meter tanks and typically we use about 3 of us to set up these tanks uh, while the third person here is actually me while I'm filming this. Um, they are not too difficult to set up, we could manage to set up most of these 20 cubic meter tanks in under 30 minutes. And here's a time lapse of you know 3 of us actually setting up the tanks and you can see that you, the minimum people that you require to do this is actually 2. Uh, because you probably need one person to support and try to fit in all the support metal structures uh, while you are at it. So not too difficult, uh, we could do this all these two tanks under an hour, uh, which is actually quite convenient to set up. And these tanks have been with us for actually about two to three years, so they are still in good condition because we have actually maintained some of this uh, steel structure and the main problem we face is actually corrosion due to salt water as you can see over here so this metal beams have actually been repaint grinded and repainted uh, so that they can last a bit longer and another important consideration with handling all the tanks is you really need to be careful because you get a lot of debris from the construction that might puncture the tank so you need to be extra careful while you're setting up and for some of the tanks we actually already add water and to ensure that there are no leaks from the tanks and run our aeration systems. So in the next video, I'll actually be covering a lot about all the aeration systems that we'll be using here and how we've done our piping with regards to aeration and what are the blowers that we've been using in the systems, at least in the nursery phase. So here's a snapshot of the coming videos. Um, we have already tested this and we are actually about to add shrimps into our new systems already and run our nursery. So so that's all for this video guys. If you like our content, do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video at Rasa Culture.